This TA Tech tip is on how to clean the Q-Series DSC cell. A first pass for cleaning the cell would be to use the brush that comes with the, with the your accessory kit. Uh, when you first open the brush, we suggest extending the bristles out all the way and then kind of breaking them like so, as if you were almost, you know, loosening up a new paintbrush because they will be fairly stiff. Then just simply bring the bristles back in a little bit so you have about the length of a pencil eraser. And then using the motion of a pencil eraser, just kind of polish the cell, the cell sensors like so. You can polish the interior of the cell. For the Q-series instruments, you want to be very careful when cleaning the T0 thermal couple. You want to just let that brush go out a little bit and brush in one direction across it very, very gently. You do not want to break the T0 thermal couple. Just do it very gently and you should be okay. The last part of cleaning with the brush just simply involves spraying some compressed air in to blow out the bristles and debris. Very important step. Sometimes contaminants can be a little more persistent and the brush may not remove it completely. If this is the case, we suggest using a cotton swab moistened with a mild solvent to try to remove the, uh, the contaminant. You could use acetone, uh, an alcohol, or hexane uh, as a first pass and try to remove it that way. And then just simply using the same motion as you did with the brush, kind of like a pencil eraser, just remove any debris that might be on the two sensors. You can also polish the inside of the cell. And again, very gently go across the T0 thermocouple, being careful not to damage it. Okay, again, spray just in case you got some cotton fibers in there. And then we suggest heating the cell up to about 100 degrees for maybe 10 minutes to evaporate any residual solvent. For a very persistent contamination, it may be necessary to do a cell burnout. What you do for this procedure is to simply heat the instrument to about 450 degrees, end the experiment, and open the lid to the air. Allow the instrument to cool back down to room temperature, and then repeat the procedure with the brush. Make sure that you use your compressed air to blow out any bristles and debris, and make sure you do that at room temperature.